Hi everyone, let's talk today what colors can red and green make when mixed together. First of all, let's remember that red is our primary color. It can of course have multiple shades, for example here I have vermilion, scarlet, crimson, pearl red and of course cadmium red, but other brands have other names for it, for example primary red and magenta also falls into red-ish um, uh, shades <clears throat> and also greens can have different shades for example here i have emerald green um and the lighter version of it uh, bright a brilliant green light also green and uh green and of course different brands can have also some sort of differences between colors even if it's the same red it can be different between windsor newton amsterdam and liquitex and it can be also um having different names but um red being primary color and green uh, is a secondary color so we have green when we mix yellow and blue and what's important for mixing colors is that when we get to mix green and um, red it's better to mix the same temperature of the color for example warm green with warmer red and cooler green with cooler red why is that so because when we mix in um, colors and if we're mixing different temperatures, we are most likely to get muddy mix than a clean, nice new color. Now, if we will look at the color wheel, we will see that red and green are opposite on the color wheel, so they're complementary colors. And what happens when we mix complementary colors? We get neutral colors. For example, we can get um, a brown or gray or even black. And in case of uh, mixing um, green and red the general rule is that we will get a brown now let's see if it's really the case in practice let's mix three different greens tallow brilliant and emerald green with a uh, cadmium red and see what happens So tallow green and cadmium red make brown. If you will add more um, red in it, it will have like a red orange undertone. If you will add more tallow green in it, because it's a darker green, it will have like almost a blue, dark blue, dark, dark black undertone. But in general, it is a brown color. Let's see the brilliant green and the same uh, cadmium red. What they gonna mix together? Because this green is lighter. And it's also cooler. It's still a brown shade, but it's much lighter brown and it's more with orange kind of undertow. But it's still a nice brown. And our last is emerald. Um, green and again cadmium red emerald green is much much cooler than other greens in our selection it has blue very visible blue undertone so we are almost mixing green blue and red and we know that blue and red will make a purple color and that's what i was saying that we can get a very different result if we mix in different shades and also if we mix in different temperatures and it's also important to know what uh, undertones can a color have, so that's why it's important to see what pigments were used, what colors were used to create a certain um, colors in the tubes. So as you can see, emerald green, in this specific case from Amsterdam, and cadmium red, they will make a very dark, um, almost like khaki green with sort of blue undertone, gray undertone. I would call it like even gray green probably. So yes, yeah, still in most cases, like two out of three, it's brown or brown shade. So let's test more greens and more um, reds. Most reds are warm, vermilion, crimson, pyrrole red, scarlet red. I found a cooler shade of red, it's a pyrrole crimson, and I will try it with a cool green, so cool and cool, and supposedly it have um, has to be better uh, color mix, and I will try the cool red with warm uh, green. I found a warmer green, it's a permanent green light here from Liquitex, and I will keep mixing also a warm vermilion red with a cooler uh, green and a warm with warmer kind of in, in the middle tallow uh, green. Let's see. So now here we're mixing 
cooler shades of green and cooler shades of red and let's see what it will create I think if we add a little bit more um, green cool green it will go more into like purple almost uh, color if we add more green it will go closer to brown so it's something now in between but kind of purpley brown but still it is brown I hope you can see it nicely it is brown so here we have cool emerald green and warm red let's see what it gives us so here we were mixing the same temperature and here we mix in different temperatures of colors and then if we mix in a uh, green and red of different colors we are getting uh, like dark olive green hockey green but definitely not brown here tallow green and vermilion so we already saw that tallow green and cadmium red gave us beautiful brown let's see what this combination gives us I think with a little bit more red let's see for now it's like a darker uh, hockey it's still green shade but if we mix more vermilion it will become brown so the ratio can also be a key most of times as you can see I'm mixing one to one but in case of a very warm almost like orangey red this is a vermilion with uh, green you can mix two to one and it will be still be nice brown and our last option it's a warmer green with cool red and I actually need to try a warmer green with warm um, uh, red as well I think here we definitely need more green now it's uh, like a Venetian red Bordeaux kind of shade so what, what I was saying when I said that they're complementary color and usually complementary color um, make neutral colors so they're neutralizing uh, each other and that's why we can play around with the ratio and add a little bit more of, of green or a little bit more of red depending on how we see the color where it um, tends to incline because when we saw here it was more greenish so I added more red to stabilize it to neutralize it and here it was too red so I added more green and now we can see it's also a different nice shade, shade of brown and yes um, before I forget let's test a warm green with a warmer um, red but just a different red let's try crimson because we tried a lot of a vermilion here That's probably a little bit more of red than green. I'll try to make it the same. So at least we're starting with a roughly one-to-one -one combination. And this is warm red and warm green. Like a golden rule of mixing is to mix colors of the same temperature. I think it's a nice very nice brown if I will add more green it can be even less like reddish undertone but yeah if we mix warm green and warm red it will create a nice very nice brown color so the theory is correct if we mix greens and reds we will most likely get brown or the shade of brown but if we will mess up with temperatures and use warm uh, reds with cooler greens we will end up having like gray um, gray uh, green brown green or like a hockey dark olive color and if we will have a cooler red that is very overpowering we can even go closer to purple color but in general as we saw in most of the cases uh, reds and green will create brown color. I hope this guide helped you navigate some color mixing and color theory and stay tuned for more color mixing.